try to go in reverse, but it stalled and it, my engine just shut off and I needed to get rescued. Cooper Moore didn't know how powerful the water was. Driving home on Murray Lane, his car got stuck and firefighters had to come out. That was just a very bad mistake and I should have just went the long route that time. Now that the water has receded and what's left is a muddy roadway, that driver now has to think of paying hundreds of dollars in fines for his rescue here last night. You're talking multiple agencies, multiple fire trucks. Up to $2,000 is what a motorist will pay under the stupid driver law, meant to deter drivers from bypassing barricades and creating a hassle for first responders. A uh, basic swift water rescue, you're looking at a minimum of 16 people initially on the assignment. It can be taxing on firefighters, especially when crews are dealing with an onslaught of monsoon related calls. Fire alarms, lightning strikes to houses, resulting in structure fires. We don't often hear about drivers punished under this specific law, but Cooper could end up paying several fines. $258 for failing to obey a traffic control device, another $258 for a charge called driving left of center. And for reckless driving, Scottsdale doesn't list a fine for that, probably because it's a class two misdemeanor that may cause you to lose your license for up to 90 days. Park, let the storm, let the storm go by. The golden rule, firefighters say, that can save your life. I think they gave me a little too, too many consequences for that. In Scottsdale, Carissa Planout for Arizona's family.